I think that President Simon was in a position to uh, curtail the abuse that was happening, and she didn't. New at noon, fresh reaction from Michigan State University students after learning their president has answered calls to step down. We shared the breaking news last night. It followed the lengthy and emotional sexual assault sentencing of ex-sports doctor Larry Nasser. 24 Hour News 8's Marvis Herring talked to several people on campus, the overwhelming majority telling him this was the right move. Marvis? Well, good morning, Sue and Emily. If it wasn't clear from the people that we spoke with all morning, it's definitely clear here at The Rock on campus. This morning on Daybreak, we showed you that it said time's up, and it was talking to Luanna Simon. Now, thank you. Some social work students have been out here, and they wrote all 156 survivors' name right here on this rock. Just think there should have been a little bit more of an effort there. Do I think it's appropriate for her to resign? I think after the scandal, there's probably not much she would have been able to do to help herself. A graduate student, a man getting his Ph.D., and an undergrad all sharing the same opinions after learning President Luanna Simon no longer holds her university title. Calls for Simon's resignation grew louder as 156 female victims shared their horrific experiences with Larry Nasser ahead of his Eaton County sentencing. If there's that many people, there had to have been someone somewhere that knew something. In her resignation letter, Simon maintained her stance. She's not a part of any cover-up, and her immediate relief of her duties is for the sake of the victims and her campus's future. But students like Michael Creighton aren't buying it. There's a lot of people at fault. Um, you know, it's a systematic thing. Despite MSU board trustee Diane Byram changing her position yesterday and calling for Simon to step down, Creighton says the board has been more focused on their financial interests than that of the students. They've made their position pretty clear, and I think that the board of trustees is also um, culpable for what has happened here um, and what continues to happen um, at MSU and in other places. From what I hear, she resigned at a protest. But not everyone is sure she should have resigned. Eric Weideman says it sends the wrong message for someone he believes wasn't the problem. Anytime something like that happens, you think that, you know, they have something to do with it. And just moments ago, the Detroit Free Press released some information about all of the perks that Luann Simon will get. Even though she's resigned, she'll receive, according to the Detroit Free Press, she'll be able to return as a faculty member and receive $750,000. After that, she'll be able to receive her current salary for the first year, and then she'll receive 75% of that. After that, again, all of this from the Detroit Free Press. It also talks about two free football passes at every home game, free game free passes at basketball games as well. So we're looking into that. We have continuing coverage coming up later on at 5, 6, and 7. But for now, live in East Lansing, Marvis Herring, 24-Hour News 8.